Hi, Andy here from Andy's Tech Tutorials. Now in this video, I'm going to take you through the process of adding Google Analytics to your web pages within Adobe Creative Cloud Express. You'll see on screen, for example, here, I have a newsletter which I have created using the web page element or tool within Express. So here we have lots of different text, images, all of that kind of thing. What I want to do though is I want to learn a little bit more about how users are viewing this content. So where they're coming from, how long they're spending on the page, what um, you know devices they're viewing from, and all of that information can be obtained using Google Analytics. Now you'll see here if I go to this view here where I can see my projects, I've got a couple of these um, web pages here and this one for example has had two views this one's had four so i'm not really able to get a feel for how this content is being viewed by my viewers and that's because i'm just using the standard i guess analytics that you'll get through um, creative cloud express which is essentially how many people have viewed the content and how many people have clicked on the little like button down the very bottom of the newsletter so for that reason, that is exactly why I want to add good old Google Analytics to this particular web page. I'm going to go back into the web page here and you'll see that currently I am viewing it as a kind of end user. So this is um, if I have received a link to view this newsletter. So I don't have the option here to enable Google Analytics. What I need to do is I first of all need to open up my project in edit mode. So I'll open this newsletter here. And what I'm interested in is the option at the top that says settings. Within here, you obviously have your um, header and footer options. So if you're setting up your branding and you want to have a little header bar and a footer and, and customize that, you can do that using the um, branding options within um, Creative Cloud Express. But what I'm interested in in this particular video is this bit around here where we can add Google Analytics tracking ID. Now to be able to actually input something into there, we need to first set this up in Google Analytics. So before I do anything, I'm going to go where it says share and I'm going to click on publish and share link. So you need to have published your web page first of all. Okay, so I'm going to copy this link here. So we basically have a shareable link. I'm going to copy that because that's going to come in handy in just a second. I'm now going to jump into Google Analytics and what I've done here is I've essentially gone into my admin area using the um, little settings option down the bottom here and I'm just going to go up to the top here where it says create account. Now you can create a property within an existing account but if you don't have an account already set up I will do that for you just now or I'll show you the process. So within Google Analytics I'm going to click here where it says create account and I'm going to give it the name um, Adobe CC Express and I'll just put, um, in fact, I'll just put Adobe CC Express, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to go to next and then it's now going to ask me to set up my property which is where we can begin to get our um, tracking ID code. Now you'll see here where it says property name, I'm going to put the name of this particular page. So I'm going to put um, Adobe CC Express um, New York web page, something like that. Okay, so New York web page. Now the uh, reporting time zone, I'm going to select um, UK because I want it all to be UK based, so United Kingdom. You'll see it automatically sets it to um, GMT at uh, midnight, so that's fine, or adding no hours, should I say. Then we've got currency here, um, I'm going to change that one to Great British, British Pounds, so this one here. And then I'm not going to click next. Now this is one of the mistakes that a lot of users make. If you click next, it creates a property for your particular page that can actually allow you to get the tracking ID that you need in the correct format for Adobe Creative Cloud Express. So what you want to do is you want to click after putting this information in here, you want to click show advanced options. Now down here, you want to create a universal analytics property. So turn that one on. Now, earlier we copied the URL for our um, web page, so I'm going to paste that into here. And we are using HTTPS, so I'm going to take that out because it's already in here. So you'll see it's got it in there. I'm going to delete everything basically up to where we have Express. And now you'll notice the next button becomes available to use. So once we have done that, 
what I'm going to do now is I am going to click on this one that says create a universal analytics property only. Okay, so I don't want two properties with connected site tags. I basically just want to have this one option selected, this universal analytics property only. So now what I need to do is click on next and then you just put a little bit of information about your business. So for this one, I don't even tend to keep um, or to select anything for the industry. I'll just go for small and um, how do we intend to use this? So we'll measure engagement, um, optimize the site. We can't really do much optimization so that doesn't matter. Um, maybe just, I, I don't know. We'll just go for the first one, that's all I need. Um, and then I'm gonna click on create. So you'll see now you get asked to um, agree to their terms of service. So you'll want to read through this and click on you also accept data processing terms. Scroll down, so make sure you read all of that. And then what you want to do is at the top, you actually need to, before you read it, um, change it to your country. So I'll change it to United Kingdom. We now get the UK based um, agreement terms. Read through them and click accept. What will now happen is you will see that it has created this new property and at the top it gives you this tracking ID. If your ID doesn't get listed under tracking ID and it doesn't start with UA, then a dash, it's not going to be in the right format so it won't work. I'm gonna now copy this. So I'm just right clicking copying so it's this code that you want. I'm gonna jump back into Creative Cloud Express. I'm gonna close down this publish options. I'm gonna go up to settings and I'm now going to paste that into here. Okay, so we've now got Google Analytics inserted. Now you can enable a cookie banner. So if you want to basically put in the information about what's going to be um, tracked and whatnot, you can put that in. And that's obviously important in countries with uh, GDPR rules and whatnot. Um, for the sake of this today, I'm just gonna leave this one blank though, but that's up to you to, to look into that further. And then what I want to do is I'm gonna go back to share at the top. And the reason for that is that when we click on publish and share link, it will tell me it needs to be updated because a change has been made. We've added Google Analytics. So I'm going to update the link. It will take a little second and then we are going to see if this has worked. So I'm gonna copy this URL just in here. I'm gonna open up another private browser and visit that um, page. So you can see we now are a user viewing this particular page and I'm going to jump into Google Analytics. I'm going to go into um, real time and I'm going to take a look at how this one is being viewed. So you will now see that right now I have an active user on this site. So we're able to check that this is indeed working. So basically you'll see at the top here of all accounts, we've got the, um, the new account that I created, which was Adobe CC Express. And then where it says all website data, you'll see that it's basically all of the data for this particular web page. So there's your tracking code in there, and we have Google Analytics that are working as expected. So obviously as time goes on, you can jump into, for example, behavior to overview, and you can see how people are using your site. So for example, average time on the page, and bounce rate, exit percentage, all of these sort of things. So that, in a nutshell, is how to add Google Analytics correctly to your Adobe Creative Cloud Express web page. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please do give it a like, or if you have any problems or anything doesn't quite make sense, feel free to comment below, or if you just enjoyed it, comment and let me know. Also, if you haven't already subscribed to this particular channel, then please do consider subscribing. So hit that subscribe button, remember to tick the notification bell, and have a look around my channel to see what other tutorials I have, but thanks very much for watching.